Okay, this is a tobacco worm, which I found on my tomato plants. Uh, he's never heard that sound before, so it kind of spooked him. He usually don't spook when I'm around, but they spook easily. Let's see if I can pet him and make him relax. There he goes. I don't know why, but they like me. And now he feels comfortable. And people consider them pests. But they are pests, but they're also part of nature. We want to treat them decent. And so what I did was I uh, picked some leaves off of my tomato plants and put them into a bottle like this. And I'll just keep them fresh. But he's one of the many I have. Let's see how close I can zoom in for you. This is a phone video, so bear with me. You can see his choppers are pretty strong and they can eat really fast. Refocus. Let's see if we can get them going here a little bit better. He can go fast, can he? Okay, let's see if I can show you the rest of them that I have. They blend in very well. As you can see, if you look here, can you see them? And then we're going to flip them around. And you can see several now. There's one just hanging out. Focus in if I can. And then there's another, which he looks like. He's getting ready to turn into a um, hit, turn, um, I guess a pupa is what they call it, but you can see where his head is a little bit fatter here, which means he's probably fixing to be um, turning into a cocoon, and he's going to turn into a moth that's kind of brown. I have a brown caterpillar that I don't know what it is in here, and then I have a new baby somewhere. I just don't know where he's at right now. You can see these two, so far they fight sometimes, but not all the time. Isn't that right, buddy? He's new. <laughs> see if he relaxes to eat. Relax, buddy. Relax. See his little feet he's moving? He's getting mad because that one's touching him. And where is our piggy one? The one that's most used to me. And he is right there. Let's see. Come on. Show him how you eat. <laughs> and there he is. Eating, eat, eat, eat. That's all they do. And you can see all the droppings down here. They make a lot of those. But yeah, they eat your tomato plants and a lot of your other garden plants. And people consider them pests. The best thing to do, if you don't want them destroying your plants, do what I'm doing. Put a, pick your bottom plants, put them in a bottle, and just feed them that way. And I'll do another video uh, when they get to their next stage.